My name is uh, Frederik Vosgröne. I'm from Dusseldorf, Germany. I started Jiu Jitsu eight years ago. I trained in, yeah, just in my hometown, hometown until two years ago. I moved to London to train here at Carlson Gracie London where I got my black belt. In Dusseldorf, I was just training with uh, at, yeah, my gym called uh, Chim Chim Dusseldorf, where yeah, we're just a small group of people. Grew a little bit over time, but it was mainly just me and maybe four or five guys like we're all like blue purple belts and yeah just basically trained together then I moved here yeah after I got my after I got my brown belt just for the yeah, opportunities in, in the UK so yeah since I moved here I think I managed to make a good name for myself got a bronze medal at Nogi Worlds which I'm uh, proud of because yeah as a submission only guy yeah, meddling at big IBJF competitions, I think shows that I'm pretty well-rounded. Obviously, there's, uh, yeah, it's not the same as preparing for the really big names, but still with $10,000 prize money and, uh, and yeah, just the prestige. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to just show my, show the skills that I've been working on for the last, for the original Grand Prix. And yeah, I think especially with, yeah, because I was preparing myself mentally, physically for the best in the world. So now fighting people from the UK, I'm really, uh, really confident in my, uh, I think, I think it's, I think it's my tournament to lose. I think, uh, I think, yeah, I definitely think I should win. So I know everybody pretty much that is in the competition. Um, definitely some, some tough, dangerous people, but I think overall my Jiu-Jitsu, um, yeah, I'm definitely the most well-rounded. I think I'm also the most accomplished, um, at least in co uh, point competition for sure. Um, yeah, since I'm in the six months that I, were, that, I'm, that I was competing as a black belt. Yeah, but yeah, just looking forward to get back on the mats. And yeah, just try to smash people, and try to yeah, get that money, and uh, yeah, then hopefully yeah, get my name out there. Try to impress people, and uh, yeah, just try to perform best I can, put on a show. Yeah, that's my plan. My mind, Freddy was growing his favorite. I hope he wears his um, signature wrestling uh, outfit tomorrow. It's quality. Um, but yeah, he's one of the heavier guys and one of the most technically gifted, I think, out of, uh, out of the eight. Uh, Bradley Hill, excellent competitor, very seasoned. Um, he's on my side of the bracket. So yeah, he's gonna be a tough match. Um, Taylor Payman, again, you know, medaled at no Gi Worlds multiple times uh, at different belt levels, so he's not going to be an easy match, but he's on the other side with uh, Freddy, so you might not get a chance to compete against him. And then you've got Silvio, strongest man in the world, Tom Breeze, amazing UFC athlete. Um, who else we got? Then you've got some wildcard entries with, uh, you know, Dominic Dillon's a very accomplished grappler. I've got him first round. Um, not an easy match at all. So you know, he focused on that first and foremost. And then Shane Curtis, who's um, super hungry and is going to be wanting to make a name for himself off the back of this tournament, I think. All right, so we're at Former Gymnastic Fitness. It's based in Gloucester. And we specialize in teaching adults gymnastic fitness gymnastic based training. Um, so I've been working with Tom and Rico for over a year now um, and we're running a program of strength training, primarily body weight but we do incorporate weight training as well with a heavy focus on mobility and movement, quality of movement. So we always take the boys for a proper warm up and then we do what we call movement drills, so working on flexibility whilst we're moving all different positions, shoulder extension, hamstrings, everything. 
And then we do our strength circuit, rope climbs, a lot of bodyweight strength, um, thrown in with some heavier stuff, which transfers to the MMA, like deadlifts, etc. We'll have a little stretch now, and then we'll finish off with some fight-specific uh, cardio training. So we'll do training for rounds. At the moment, we're working on four-minute rounds, different stations. Um, so yeah, it's a layered process. Let it flare, Tom. That's not what you want. You want to get rid of this gap by sucking this in. Hey, my name's Tom Breeze. I'm from Birmingham. Uh, today we're here at Former Gloucester. It's like a adults gymnastics training. Uh, for me, you know, I've I've been doing martial arts since uh, since I was 15, 16, so it's 12 years. Uh, it's a lot of hard work, so got to look after your body, you know. Got to build your athleticism, build the machine that you're using for the martial arts. Yeah, so I was I was living in uh, Montreal, Canada, for for about three years. I was living in the dorms. Um, decided to come back home. Started working with my uh, first BJJ instructor, Chu Guang Man. Uh, Started teaching back at Renegade, and then eventually me and Chu went into partnership. And the, uh, the academy's just grown from there, really. You know, mixed martial arts, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. We have many competitors in, in both sports. And yeah, it's, it's, it's been great, and, and I enjoy doing what I do every day. Yeah, I was training at TriStar. So, yeah, I was living at TriStar dorms. Uh, I trained at TriStar for about three years. Great experience, learnt a lot. Uh, Travelled often to New York as well from Montreal. Um, still try and make as many trips as I can. My wife's from Montreal, so it's all good. You, you, you got us doing sevens and then ended up doing 20 on the last one. Yeah. So, like I said, I've been doing martial arts for, for, for about 12 years now, and that's 12 years of twice a day training, you know, six days a week. Um, and, and what a journey it's been, you know, and, and, and I love the journey, you know, I'm, I'm growing every day. And that's my mission, you know, become the best I can be. And using martial arts to challenge me and become a better person through it <coughs> has been brilliant. I love uh, competing in jiu-jitsu, I love competing in martial arts. I'm trying to be the best martial artist I can be. Uh, every day I look to conquer myself. And uh, I'm looking forward to this, this future challenge on Polaris. Come on, Zach, show you last time. Get it, Tom. Yeah, so last time uh, on Polaris, uh, I competed against Ben Dyson. Um, it was a rematch. Ben had actually beaten me in the, in the previous match. Um, so I came with, well prepared for, for the rematch and uh, I shut him down. Didn't manage to get the submission. But I managed to get some, uh, some good takedowns, good control in the bout. Um, and I really enjoyed competing on Polaris. I thought the staff were great. To compete on the show, it was very enjoyable. Um, and I look forward to, to competing in this UK Grand Prix. In the tournament, I've trained with Freddie and Russ. I've competed against Freddy, and then afterwards we've trained together. I know there's some good, good uh, chess players going into the tournament. I've got myself in tremendous condition. I'm the best shape I've ever been in my life. Even at, like straight after my last MMA fight, come in, put some weight on, put some good muscle on, great condition. Ready to play the chess game against these, these smart fighters, and I'm, I'm bringing my A game. Hi, my name is Silvio Nastasa. Um, I'm training at Pure Jiu Jitsu. I'm a brown belt in Jiu Jitsu and a black belt in Judo, training at Ealing Judo Club. I'm from Romania. Um, I've been training wrestling uh, since I was uh, very little, from six years old. Um, I've been introduced to the grappling um, thanks to my father. Uh, he had a big impact in my um, um, in my uh, grappling and um, I learned uh, wrestling, I trained in wrestling since I was six uh, until very late. Um, wrestling is um, a kind of big sport in Eastern Europe um, and we had it like a 
like a main, uh, like a main activity in our family. No, our real life is not happening like this. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, with Jiu-Jitsu for about six years now, five, six years, and uh, it made it um, really easy by uh, transitioning from wrestling to Jiu-Jitsu, but also in the same time I have to change uh, a lot of way of viewing the martial arts. Um, I had to understand that um, uh, Jiu-Jitsu is a completely different uh, set of game than wrestling. And yes, it makes a big difference because I had already the, the base of martial arts, which is wrestling. I had the background of wrestling and it made it very easy for me. So I, I meant to, com meant to compete uh, on the last event. Uh, from Polaris, but due to uh, coronavirus, which we already know about this, um, the event has been cancelled. And since then, um, I didn't had um, a place where to train, like no one else, I suppose. And I tried um, everything that stayed in my power to to keep myself fit, to keep myself strong, and to keep myself focused towards uh, the next competition that we, we're gonna come in front of me. So um, I done everything that uh, hill sprints, uh, carrying a wheelbarrow on the hill, um, I don't know, um, running, kettlebells training, um, all kind of exercises that uh, helped me to keep myself fit and motivated.